I miss seeing you every Tuesday in class at the studio. Hopefully we'll get there soon. <laughs> okay, so we won't need any props today, just your mat and some bar space where you feel comfortable moving. And we'll start on our mats today. So let's all sit towards the front of your mat. Go ahead and bend your knees and have your feet flat on the floor. And just reach your arms forward with your palms facing up. And we're gonna lower down slowly in eight seconds. Seven, six, really start to engage that core already. Four more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good, go ahead and relax your head. Bend your knees in. Have your feet flat on the floor. And then just let your knees start to fall side to side. So relax your hip flexors here. We're just warming up the hip joints. You can start off small and then eventually make the sways bigger, making a windshield wiper motion with your legs. And now let's start to find some stillness. Pull your knees into your chest, give them a gentle squeeze. And you wanna keep your lower back flat on the floor. So think of pressing your tailbone down into your mat and then rock your knees side to side, massaging that tailbone into the floor. And now start to draw circles with your knees in opposite directions. So allow your legs to open up, make those circles nice and big and move slowly. We're just warming up the joints, reverse the direction starting to wake up those hip muscles, the hip flexors. Good, now glue your legs together, draw even more circles, but with your legs together, make those, keep your hands on your knees and make those circles as big as possible. Good, reverse the direction, keeping those legs together. Good. Now transfer both hands over to your right leg. Extend your left leg long on the floor, squeeze that knee in, and then draw circles with your right ankle. Think of spreading out and lengthening your toes as you draw circles with that foot. Reverse the direction of your circle, still keeping those toes spread out and long and extended. And now let's find a twist. So pull your right knee up and over to the left side of your body and extend your right arm long on the floor with your palm facing up. So make sure your chest is still facing the ceiling here. If you want, you can use your hand to gently encourage that right knee closer to the floor. Just think of relaxing into this twist and not forcing the leg down too hard. We're still taking it easy, just warming up the spine. Good, let's slowly release that twist and find the other side. So extend your right leg long on the floor, pull your left knee into your chest, give it a tight squeeze, and then draw circles with your foot. Really extend, lengthen the toes, think of spreading them out as far away from each other as you can. And reverse the direction of your ankle circles, still keeping that knee tight in towards your chest. And now let's find our twist. So pull your left knee up and over to the right side of your body and have your left arm extended long on the floor with your palm facing up. If you want, you can encourage your left hand closer to the floor with your right hand on that knee. Relax into the twist. Remember to take it easy. We're just waking up the spine and the lower back here. Now, Release that twist, nice and slow. Pull your knees back into your chest again, but this time grab behind your thighs. Lift your head off the floor, reach your nose towards your knees, and rock and roll. So start off small. We're just feeling our spine against the floor. Keep that spine round as you move forward and back. And then make your rolls even bigger, building up more momentum until you're all the way up in a seated position. And once you're up, we're gonna find 
seated bound angle pose. So bring the soles of your feet together to touch. You want to make a diamond shape with your legs. Grab onto your shins or your ankles. Sit up nice and tall. Pull your shoulders down away from your ears. And keeping your spine long and straight, just hinge forward. So you're hinging from the hips, but the spine is still long. Think of reaching the crown of the head forward and up at a diagonal. This is just to stretch the glutes, get into the outer hips. You might even feel this in your IT bands. Good, now go ahead and push your feet out just a little bit to make the diamond shape a little bit longer. Same thing, grab onto your shins, maybe even your knees. Sit up tall, keep the spine straight, and hinge forward again. And just notice how this feels different, of different muscles it's targeting. Think of pulling that head forward and up at a diagonal. Good. Come back up until you're sitting upright and find a comfortable seat so you can extend your legs long or you can cross your legs. We're going to stretch the sides of our body. So take an inhale, lift your arms up overhead. Then as you exhale, grab onto your left wrist with your right hand. Think of pulling that arm up and over to the right. So you'll feel that stretch on the left side of your body. Just keep your gaze forward or you can look down at the floor. So rather than just thinking of going to the right, you want to make a big arc up and over. Then lift back up and switch out the hand. So grab your right wrist with your left hand. Think of reaching up, making that arc over to the left, stretching the right side of your body. And you can look forward or down at the floor. Whatever feels good to you. I lift back up. We're going to go one more time to the right. So switch out the hands, right hand to left wrist, up and over to the right. Maybe stretching a little bit lower, a little bit deeper than last time. Lift back up and switch left hand to right wrist, up and over to the left. Go ahead and lift back up, drop your hands, relax them on your thighs or your knees. We're going to do some head circles just to stretch out the neck. So before we start, drop your shoulders down. Think of relaxing your chest and your collarbone area. Drop your chin to your chest, but you want to keep that spine long. So you're still sitting up tall, We're just stretching the back of the neck here. And now circle your head to the right. So reach your right ear towards your right shoulder and then all the way around until you make a complete circle. Yeah, then just do that a couple more times at your own pace. Feel free to close your eyes here if you want. We're just warming up the neck muscles. Think of stretching out every single fiber in that neck. Keep the chest and shoulders relaxed. Just keep that head moving. We're gonna take one more full circle. And whenever you finish that circle, reverse the direction. You're just going to go to the left and all the way around, making full circles, going at your own pace, stretching out every single neck muscle. And wherever you are, finish up that last circle. And when you're done, we will meet in a tabletop position on our hands and knees. So in tabletop. Spread out those fingers nice and wide. Make sure your shoulders are stacked over your wrists. Pull that belly button in towards your spine to engage your core. So if you're already engaged, take an inhale. As you exhale, pull that belly button even further up towards the ceiling. That will force you to curve your back. As you do this, tuck in your chin, tuck in your tailbone. Then inhale, drop your chest and arch your back. Reach your belly button towards the floor and look up at the ceiling. Point your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Exhale, curve your spine, pull that belly button up towards the ceiling, tuck your chin in. Inhale, drop your chest, arch your back, look up. Now let's do this a couple more times. Go at your own pace. You want to use your breath to start the movement. Every time you exhale, you're going to curve, pull that belly button up. Every time you inhale, Drop your chest, look up at the ceiling. One more round here, really working through the spine. Good. 
And then let's start to find some stillness, find a neutral spine. So you wanna think of your spine being parallel to the floor and then lengthen your spine by pulling your tailbone back and your head forward. Go ahead and tuck your toes. We're gonna to lift our knees one inch off the floor without changing your alignment. So just lift the knees, hold it for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good. Drop your knees, untuck your toes, this time bring them together to touch. Open your knees wide and find child's pose. So sit your hips down by your heels, relax your forehead on the floor, and just start to come back into a deep breath, taking big inhales through the nose, and exhales out through the mouth. Every time you inhale, take in as much air as you can, feel that expansion in your upper back. And just hold it for a second at the top and then release the air slowly as you exhale, melting your chest closer to the floor. Let's stay here for two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, melt the chest. One more breath. Inhale. This time as you exhale, start to shift your weight forward into your hands so that you can tuck your toes and find downward facing dog. And then once you're up, go ahead and pedal out your feet left and right. Really reaching one heel down as the other heel comes up and then switching sides. You can go at your own pace here. Focus on stretching out the calf muscles, maybe even the hamstrings. I'm warming up the ankle joints, maybe taking some ankle circles in between if that feels good. Good. Now let's all find a still downward facing dog. Reach those heels as close to the floor as you can. Spread out your toes, spread out your fingers. And then if you have any curve in your spine, get rid of it. Straighten up that spine, point your tailbone up towards the ceiling. If your hamstrings are tight, you can bend your knees but start to lengthen the spine, pointing the tailbone up, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. Look in between your feet um, at the floor. And we're gonna walk our hands back one at a time. So keep looking at the floor, just walk one hand back until you're all the way in a standing forward fold. You wanna keep your hips or keep your feet hip width distance apart here. Relax your head neck, shoulders, and arms, your entire body should be relaxed. So if your hamstrings are tight here, bend your knees. Gently nod your head yes. And shake your head no. And now just let your torso sway side to side. If you want, you can grab opposite elbows or you can leave your hands on the floor. Just start to feel that spine release tension, feel that lengthen, feel your head drift closer and closer to the floor. Good. Find some stillness here in downward dog. Start to toe heel your feet together until they're touching. Then bend your knees, point your tailbone down and roll up slowly one vertebrae at a time. Yeah, take an inhale, lift both arms up overhead for mountain pose. So you want to drop your shoulders down away from your ears. That's something I say a lot because that's where we hold a lot of tension in our shoulders. So keep those shoulders down, pull your shoulder blades together, turn your pinkies in towards each other. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, goal post your arms to 90 degrees, open up your chest and take a small back bend. So think of pulling your elbows out and back, opening up the chest towards the ceiling, looking up at the ceiling, and slightly pushing the hips forward. Inhale, lift to mountain pose. Find that alignment again, pull your ribs in. And exhale, bring your hands to heart center, hinge forward into a forward fold. Relax your head here. We're gonna walk our hands forward until we're in a high plank. So walk, walk, take small steps. Find that high plank, hold it for five seconds, four, three, two, one, hips up and back, downward facing dog. 
Take an inhale. As you exhale, walk the hands back to a forward fold. Then inhale, bend the knees, roll up slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Once you're standing, lift those arms up overhead to mountain pose. Remember to drop the shoulders, rotate the pinkies in, pull the rib cage in. Exhale, back bend. Open up the chest. Maybe you can go a little bit deeper this time. Maybe push the hips forward a little bit more. Find that spinal extension. Inhale, lift back up, mountain pose. Then exhale, bring the hands through heart center as you hinge forward into a fold. And then walk the hands out. We'll find that high plank. We're here again for five seconds. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. Four more seconds. Three, two, one. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Good. Keep your gaze on your mat, right in between your feet. And we're going to walk our hands back again. Rolling up slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Bend those knees. Feel each piece of your spine here moving slowly and let your chin be the last thing up. Cool. Okay, so we're going to set our mats aside for right now and head over to the bar. So we're going to start facing the side. Right hand is going to be on the bar and left arm is going to be out here, out to the side. So you want your elbow to be higher than your wrist. And there's a little bit of a curve right here in your elbows. So think of relaxing the fingers, elbow is up, wrist is down, and come to first position. So your heels are touching and your toes are turned out. If I look at my feet, they're going to be in a V. So first position. Bend your knees, keep your heels on the floor. Then as you straighten your knees, that's when you come up on your tippy toes. So bend the knees, heels down, straighten the knees, heels up. Bend and lift. Bend and lift. And the whole time you're paying attention to this arm. Don't let it become droopy, keep that arm strong. Bend and lift, 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. On the last one, freeze up here. So your heels are off the floor. Bend your knees, keep the heels up, straighten the knees. It's just a small bend in the knees. You don't have to go all the way down. But think of keeping those heels as high up as they were when you started. Bend and lift. Ten more. Ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good, relax. Other side. Right hand is on the bar. We're going to do the same movement, but in second position. So bring your feet wide. Your toes are still pointing out. Your heels are pointing in. The left arm is out to the side, nice and strong. Bend, get nice and low in this one since we're in second position. Straighten the knees, lift the heels. Bend and lift, bend and lift. Come up as high on your tippy toes as you can every single time. 10 more, keep that arm strong. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Last one, stay up so your heels are up nice and high. Bend those knees and lift. Bend and lift. Get even lower every single rep. Bend and lift. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Good, relax. Okay, now let's face the bar. So we're gonna do some heel raises. So start with your feet together, parallel. Hands are on the bar or on your hips if you want an extra balance challenge. Lift your heels, lower down. So our knees are straight. They're not just relaxed straight. I want you to think of squeezing your quads, lifting the knees, squeezing those glutes. 
and pulling your belly button in towards your spine. 15 more. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Now take your left foot off the floor. It can be anywhere. Only the right foot is down. Lift the heel, lower the heel. 15, 14. And for this one, try to use the bar as little as possible. Don't use it to lift yourself up. You're lifting from that calf muscle. Nine more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Other side. Left foot is on the floor. Lift your right foot off. Lift lower down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Make sure you get all the way up and all the way down. 6, 5, 4, almost there. 3, 2, last one. Good. Now, two feet down. First position, heels are together, toes are out, heel raise, lower down. Up, down. 15, 14. Let's all let go of the bar for this one. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now this is our last set. Second position. Knees are straight. Lift down. Up and down. Still squeezing the quads. Lifting the knees. Ten more. Nine. Eight. Keep it going all the way up, all the way down. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Relax. Let's stretch out those calf muscles. So, step one foot back, then bend your front leg, get that back heel on the floor, and then just lean forward. I should feel really good on that calf muscle, stretching it out. And switch sides, so step the opposite foot back, bend your front knee, and get that heel on the floor or close to the floor. Okay, let's wake up our glutes. So, Facing the side, left hand is on the bar, right arm is gonna be up. So your shoulder is still down, just like always. A soft curve in the arm, and you're gonna find, it's called attitude. So lift your leg behind you. This is attitude position. Your goal is to try to get your knee higher than your foot. And we're just gonna do small pulses, lifting the knee about one or two inches, lifting up, and we're gonna go fast. So pulse up, 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 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now freeze, just hold it for 10 seconds. So you're holding it still, keeping that leg as high as you can. Six more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now back to the pulses, pulsing up, up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Freeze and hold it for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, don't forget about this arm, it's still holding strong. Three, two, one, pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, freeze, hold it up. Nine more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, keep that knee high. Three, two, one, relax. Okay, other side. So, arm is up. Drop the shoulder and lift the leg. Starting with the pulses, pulse the knee. Up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now freeze and hold it, keep the leg up. Eight more seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Eight more seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pulse, 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Freeze, 10, nine, keep the leg high, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Cool, move those hips side to side, stretching out the glutes just a little bit. Okay, more glutes. So facing the bar, you're just gonna lean forward until your chest is facing the floor. So you can have your hands on the bar or your forearms on the bar, it's up to you. Just make sure you're relaxing your shoulders. We're gonna lift the right leg up to the side. So it's not back here, it's right to the side in line with your toes of your left foot. We're gonna pulse up, up. So both knees are straight. You're lifting your leg as high as you can, just doing tiny pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now keep the leg up, bend your knee as you flex your foot and then straighten your knee, point. Bend and flex, straight and point. Keep your leg high, bend, Point, bend and flex, straight and point. Eight more. Seven, think of really reaching that leg out long as you straighten it. Six, five, four, three, two, one more. Good, lower the right leg right away to the left. Lift your left leg up and pulse. Keep your leg high, we're doing small tiny pulses, only one or two inches of movement. Six more, five, four, three, two, one. Hold your leg up, bend your knee, flex your foot, straighten your knee, point your foot. Bend and flex, straight and point. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Relax, bring your chest up. We're gonna go right into that position again. Get some water if you need it. Okay, dropping the chest. More glutes. So bend your right knee <coughs> so that's a 90 degree angle and point your foot. So this foot is pointed the whole time. Lift your right knee, lower the knee. Lift it up. And down. So you want to find your full range of motion here, lifting your knees high as you can, bring it all the way back down until your knees touch. Ten more. Ten. Hopefully you're feeling that burn by now on that right glute muscle. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Keep your leg up. We're going to pulse. Small pulses. From the knee, keeping the foot pointed, relaxing the shoulders. Six more, five, four, three, two, one. Again, right away. Bend your left knee, point the foot. Lift, lower down. Nine more. Lifting as high as you can, dropping that leg all the way back down. Six more, five, four, three, two, Last one, hold it up, and now pulse, small pulses. Going up, up from the knee, up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the knee and relax the chest. Okay, let's do a quick little glute stretch. So, have your left hand on the bar. You're gonna cross your right ankle over your left knee, then bend your left knee and sit back as almost Almost as if you're gonna sit in a chair. So sit into that right hip. Should feel good right here. Yeah, switch sides. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. And bend that right knee, sit into a chair. Feeling it on that left glute. Good, lift up. Okay, so now let's move on to quads. So, left hand on the bar, facing the side. Right hand, up. actually no, let's do right hand, arm, right arm out to the side. Remember that elbow is higher than your wrist. Keep that curve in the arm. We're gonna bend your knee. It should be hip height or lower, not up here. So, arm is out. You're gonna extend the leg out, bend the knee. Extend it out and bend. So don't bend it all the way in, just to about here, 90 degrees straight 
and bend. Straight and bend. So for this exercise, this upper part of your leg, your thigh, your femur is not moving. It's totally still at the same level the entire time. You're just moving your shin, straightening and bending. Straight and bend. So every time you straighten that leg, squeeze your quad, get your leg all the way straight. 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Other side. So lift your left knee about hip height or lower, wherever you can hold it, and straighten up the leg. Bend. Straight and bend. Left arm is out long. And bend. Eight more. Seven. Squeeze that quad. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Relax. Okay, so now, step away from the bar. We're going to do some curtsy lunges. So we're going to start. You can have your hands at heart center or on your hips. It's up to you. Maybe even out to the side. But you're going to step back. So your right foot is in front. Step back with your left and you're going to cross it behind you like you're doing curtsy. Then come back together. Feet are parallel, hip width distance. Curtsy lunge. And step up. Cross as much as you can so that you feel stretch right here as you lower down. Then squeeze this as you lift. Cross and lift. Try not to touch your knee to the floor, but you want to get as close to the floor as you can without actually touching your knee down. 10 more. 10, 9, 8, get all the way down, 7, keep your chest up, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Okay, other side. So same exact thing, left leg is in front, step back with your right foot, cross behind, lunge, feet together. So stretch this out and then squeeze, bring your feet back up. Lunge, together. Down and up, 10 more. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Cool. Okay, back to the bar. Now, normal lunges. So, left hand is on bar. Start with a wide stance. You're going to bend your knees. And then lift all the way back up. Squeeze this quad as you lift. Lunge and lift. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Stay down and pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Freeze. Stay low, hold it for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, maybe go one inch lower. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Turn around, left leg is in front. Right hand on your hip, full lunges. Bend both knees, squeeze the quad. Bend and lift. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, last one, stay down and pulse, pulse, down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, freeze, stay low, don't move, stay as low as you can go. Seven more seconds, six, breathe through it, five, four, three, two, one, and lift. Cool, okay, get some water. We're gonna come back to our mats. So 
So if you happen to be on hard floor and you have um, sensitive knees, you can grab a blanket or you can fold your mat so that there's extra cushion. But if your knees are fine, then just lay your mat flat. Or if you're on carpet like me, you're all set. Okay, so starting on our hands and knees. So make sure your shoulders are over your wrists. Always be pushing your hands down to keep all of this up here engaged. Don't forget about those shoulders. Lengthen your right leg behind you. Point that toe, kick your leg up and down. So we're not arching our back. Keep your back straight, keep your core engaged. You're just kicking that right leg up and down. 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, hold it up and pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your leg up and bend your knee, point your heel up towards the ceiling and pulse, pulse. Almost like you want to kick the ceiling with your heel. Make sure your knee is still pointing down. It's not up here. Here, up, up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower the legs, switch sides. Send your left, point your toe, kick it up. Don't arch your back. Eight more. Seven, six. Don't forget about those shoulders. Make sure your head is up. It's not drooping down. Five more, four, three, two, one, pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold your leg up, bend your knee and flex your foot and kick the heel up like you're kicking the ceiling with your heel up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the left leg. And now we're gonna lay down on our right side. So, right side is on the floor. You can have your head resting on your bicep or prop your head up in your hands. Flex your feet. So if I'm looking down at my feet, you wanna see that your ankles are right below your hips. Your hips are right below your shoulders. So you have to be in a straight line. If I was looking from the ceiling down, straight line. Okay, so left hand on the floor right in front of you. Maybe just fingertips, no weight is in that hand. Take the left leg up, lower it down. Pick it up and down. Every time you lift the leg, squeeze this muscle right here. Squeeze, squeeze. 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, also keep your core engaged so that you're not rolling forward or back. Three, two, last one, hold your leg up. You're gonna bend your knee with a flexed foot, then straighten the knee and point. We did this at the bar. Bend the knee and flex, straighten the knee and point. Bend and flex, straight and point. Bend and flex, straight and point. 10 more, nine, keeping that leg high, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, last one, lower the leg. And now bend your knees. So your knees are together. They're stacked right in front of your hips. So uh, there should be a 90 degree angle right here. Keeping your feet together, lift them up off the floor and then open your knees. Close your knees. Open and close. Notice how my toes are staying together. Gonna open as much as you can, squeezing that glute to open the legs. 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Get ready to pulse. Last one and pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cool, other side. So now you're laying on the left side of your body. Head is down or propped up. And now find your straight line. So ankles 
or right under your hips. Hips are right under your shoulders. Right hand is just lightly placed on the floor. Fingertips, no weight is in this hand. So flex your feet, kick your right leg up, lower down. Okay, hand down. Remember to keep that foot engaged the whole time, squeezing your glute as you lift your leg. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, hold your leg up, bend your knee and flex your foot, then extend your knee, point, bend and flex, straight and point, bend and flex, straight and point, 10 more, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, keep that leg high, 4, 3, 2, 1, lower the leg. Ooh, okay, bend your knees, have your knees right in front of your hips, toes are together, lift the feet, keeping your toes glued together, open the knees, and close, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, hold your knees open and do small pulses, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Ooh, okay, let's stretch out those glutes, yeah? So, lay on your back, cross your right ankle over your left knee, then thread your right arm through in between your legs, grab behind your left thigh, and pull that leg in towards your chest. Take some deep breaths here. Just relax for a moment, stretching out that glute muscle. It might feel tight right now. Just sink into the stretch. Good, okay, switch sides. So have both feet on the floor, cross your left ankle over your right knee, grab behind your right thigh, threading that left arm through, and pull your knee in towards your chest. Taking deep breaths here, relaxing that glute. Good, now release the stretch. Okay, so we're gonna do some crunches, but we're gonna do eagle pose crunches. So if you know what eagle pose is, it's a standing yoga posture where all of your joints are compressed and you're crossing everything. We're gonna do that leg down. So we're gonna cross your right thigh over your left thigh. Now you can just do this, or if you want a double wrap, you can cross at the shins as well. Okay, so those are the legs. The arms are doing the same thing. Right arm crosses under the left arm. Bend your elbows. Try to get your palms together to touch. If this is too much, just hug yourself with your right arm underneath your left. So these are both good, whatever variation you want. So compress your elbows together, your thighs together, and you're gonna lift. Try to tap your elbows and knees together. So crunch in lower down. So whatever your arms and legs are doing, you want to lift and have them meet in the middle. Elbows and knees and straight. In and out. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, unravel your arms and legs and switch sides. So your left thigh is gonna cross over your right, single or double wrap. Now your left arm crosses under the right and you can just hug yourself here or you can get your palms together touching here. So here we go, lift, get those elbows and knees to meet in the middle, lower down. Get your shoulder blades off the floor every time you lift. Up and down, 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. 
Good, okay. So now, relax your head on the floor. Lengthen out your arms down by your side or underneath your glutes if you need a little bit of assistance for this exercise. So, we're going to do some flutter kicks. So start with your legs at 90 degrees and then slowly lower your legs down as low as you can go without arching your back. So if that's just to here, that's fine, but you wanna lower your legs, find that spot where you feel a challenge. Then lift your chin, lift your shoulder blades off the floor and flutter your legs. Just going right and left, right and left. Keep it small, keep those legs as low as you can go. We're gonna go for 20 seconds, 19, 18. Keep pulling that belly button towards the ground. 15, 14, keep the legs going fast. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, keep going. 5, keep the legs fast. 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Pull your knees into your chest. And just take a couple deep breaths here. If you want, you can rock side to side, or you can take a long body stretch. Just take a moment to relax and breathe before we do our last exercise. So make your way to a seated position. We're gonna do some arts. So we're going to start almost like a scarecrow with our arms here. So, Elbows should be in line with the shoulders and you want to try to get 90 degrees here. If you feel like you're bringing your shoulders up in order to get your elbows up, that's fine. You can be a little bit lower. We're going to extend our arms. So straighten out the arms, keep the fingers long, pinkies are up, thumbs are down, then return back to this position here. Extend out and bend. Don't let those shoulders lift up. Keep them pressed down away from your ears. Keep the elbows as high as you can. 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, stay extended out and pulse the pinkies up. Up, keep the arms straight, keep the shoulders pressed down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, now flip the palms so your thumbs are up and pulse the thumbs up, up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now have your palms facing down, long fingers, and we're circling backwards in small circles, sitting up nice and tall. Think of creating resistance in your muscles. So imagine you're moving through water. Keep circling. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Now circle forward, reversing the direction. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse the direction again, going backwards. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Circle forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Circle back for six, five, four, three, two, one. Circle forward. Six, five, four, three, two, one, circle back, four, three, two, one, forward, four, three, two, one, circle backwards, one, two, circle forward, one, two, circle backwards, one, forward, one, backwards, one, forward, one, backwards, one, forward, one, and relax. Good, shut the arms out. Okay, we made it. It's time to stretch now. So, Stay seated upright. Extend your legs long in front of you. So go ahead and think about relaxing these muscles right here. If you need to, you can massage them, wiggle them out. Relax your feet, relax your quads. Take an inhale, sweep those arms up overhead. Keep those legs relaxed. And then exhale, reach forward into a seated forward fold. You can grab onto your feet, pull yourself forward, or you can just relax your arms on the floor. This one is just to stretch out the hamstrings, the back of the legs. Still keep your quads relaxed. Just pull your chest closer and closer to the floor, wherever your hands are. Relax the back of your neck so that your head is hanging heavy. Good. 
Good, and now very slowly, roll back up to a seated position. Now bring your legs together, touch. You're gonna cross your right foot over your left leg. And the foot is gonna go on the outside of the knee. If this is too much, bring it next to the shin. And you're gonna pull your leg in as you twist to the right, pulling your chest towards your knee. So you can use your hands here if you want. You can use your elbow crease to pull yourself in. Maybe you'll feel that right here. Maybe you'll feel a twist in your spine. Just think of sitting up tall and twisting, pulling that leg in towards your chest. Good, now place your right hand on the floor behind you. Take your left elbow, place it on the outside of your right knee and push into the knee. So now this is solely about the twist. So you're gonna look over your right shoulder, sit up tall, push the elbow into the leg and twist your spine. This is an active twist. So rather than relaxing into it, think of engaging your back muscles, using that arm to create that deep twist and looking over past the shoulder. And now slowly release the twist. Okay, other side. So now extend your right leg long, bend your left knee, bring it over to the right side of your right knee or the right side of your right shin, and pull your chest in towards your thigh. So you can use your elbow crease, you can use your hands, just pull your chest forward into the knee and pull the knee into the chest simultaneously. Good, make sure you're sitting up tall. Don't round up here. Keep that long spine. Awesome. Okay, now place your left hand on the floor. Put your right knee on the outside, or sorry, your right elbow on the outside of your left knee. And push that elbow into your knee, creating the twist in your spine. Look over your left shoulder, sit up tall. Keep those back muscles engaged and active. Deepen that twist by pushing the arm even further into the knee. And now very slowly release the twist. Okay, now find your way onto your back. So just go ahead and lay down, pull your knees into your chest. Let's return back to our breathing. So take big inhales through the nose and exhales out through the mouth. So go ahead and close your eyes and find happy baby. So you can grab behind your thighs, your calves, or the outer and your edges of your feet. Make sure your tailbone stays on the floor and then just pull your knees down to the ground. Or not to the ground, but pull them towards the ground. So you might feel some compression in your hip flexors, maybe a release in your lower back. Just relax here into this pose. Close your eyes if you haven't already. And just relax. Maybe add some shifting side to side. Just allow your body to start cooling down. Feeling your heart rate start to slow down, return back to its normal pace, its resting heart rate. And then if you wanna get into the hamstrings here, you can even try straightening one leg at a time. And doing whatever feels good, listen to your body. start to release this stretch. So just slowly bend your knees all the way, bringing the soles of your feet together. And then release your feet or your legs and bring your knees into your chest. We're gonna make ourselves into a little tiny ball. So lift your head towards your knees. If you can, wrap your forearms around your shins or just have your hands on your knees and squeeze everything in your body. So squeeze all your muscles Squeeze your face, your shoulders, your arms, your abs, your legs, your toes. Just squeeze everything you can think of. Squeeze as tight as you can. 
Now just release everything, extend your arms and legs on the floor. Really just relax every single muscle in your body. Get nice and comfortable for Shavasana, so close your eyes. Fall into a natural breath. Get out any last fidgets, any last movement you want before we lay still for Shavasana. Now just relax here. Be still. And let your mind wander. And just breathe. You're welcome to stay here in Shavasana for as long as you need. If you feel like you're ready to start moving again, go ahead and reach your arms up overhead and take a morning stretch. So it's just like you just woke up and you want to wake up all the muscles in your body. Reach those arms up as far as you can overhead. Extend the legs, reach the toes forward. And whenever you're ready, just roll over onto one side, keep your eyes closed, and find a fetal position. So bend your knees, relax your head on one of your arms, using it as a pillow. Just feel comfortable here. Keeping your eyes closed still, use your hands to push yourself up to a seated position. And find another comfortable seat, sitting up tall. Place your hands on your knees or your thighs or at heart center with your palms touching. And let's take some deep breaths all together. Inhale. Exhale, release. Another inhale, take in more air in than last time. And release. Get another breath, this time hold your breath when you get to the top. So inhale as much air as you can. Hold your breath. And exhale, release. Bow forward, Still in your practice. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. I think it's Memorial Day weekend, actually. So yeah, have a happy holiday. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Make sure you drink lots of water and have a great rest of your day. Thank you again. Bye.